Hey there, I'm Joe Weems. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you about NGConf 2023 happening in Salt Lake City, Utah on June 14th and 15th. Head over to ngconf.org to check out the speakers, check out the talks, and to get your ticket before they all sell out. We'll see you there. Welcome to ngconf 2022 and my talk on how to run code in your Angular application when it's leaving the page. My name is Preston Lamb, and I'm an Angular GDE. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at PrestonJLamb, GitHub at PJLamb12, or on my website, PrestonLamb.com. You can also find my blog posts on the ngconf blog, as well as my own website. We only have a couple minutes, so let's go ahead and jump right on into the code. A few weeks ago, I needed to run some code when my app left the page. My first thought was that I could do that in the onDestroy lifecycle hook in the app component. I figured that would run when the Angular app was removed from the page. You can see here that I have the lifecycle hook, and I have a console.log to say that the component was destroyed. Let's go to the browser and see if that message is logged to the console when I refresh the app. I'll go ahead and refresh the app, and we can see down here that no message is logged to the console. That's because when the Angular app is refreshed, or the tab is closed, Angular itself doesn't actually destroy the component, so the onDestroy lifecycle method is not run. I didn't know that this wouldn't work, so I was left asking myself, what else can I do? Luckily, that's where the host listener comes in. Host listeners in Angular allow us to listen to different events and react to them. You can read more about host listeners in the Angular docs. Here's a link. There are two parameters that you can pass to the host listener decorator. The first is the DOM event to listen for. In our case, it's the before unload event on the window. Anytime the browser or the user triggers this event, the handler method will be run. The second parameter is an array of arguments. These arguments will be passed to the handler method when the event occurs. In this case, we're just passing the event. The function that we want to run each time the DOM event occurs is located right after the host listener decorator. Let's uncomment out this line on line 11 with the console.log. Now we'll go back to the browser and see if this message gets logged to the console. Alright, let's refresh the page again. This time when we refresh the page, we got this before unload event logged to the console. That means that our handler was called and that we can run some code that we need to run when the Angular application is refreshed or the tab is closed. Maybe you need to clear out the local storage or the session storage or log the person out of the application. Whatever it is, you can run it in this handler. You can even have access to the event if you need it. So just remember, ng on destroy is only called if Angular itself destroys the component. If the component is destroyed because the browser refreshes or the tab closes, then that lifecycle method will not be called. In those cases, use a host listener. Also, the host listener is not limited to just the before unload event. You can use it with any DOM event that you may need to react to. If you need code to run each time some DOM event occurs, you can use the host listener. It's a pretty quick example, but that's all I've got today. If you want to read more about this, you can go to pjlc.dev slash ngconf-2022. And that's it. Thanks everyone for coming and watching my talk today. Once again, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at PrestonJLamb, GitHub at PJLamb12, or at my website, PrestonLamb.com. I like tweeting about Angular and finding new friends, so go ahead and follow me on Twitter and reach out. I also like to write blog posts about Angular. You can find them on my website or on the ngconf blog. I hope you have a great conference and I'll talk to you later. See ya.